Alright, so this is going to be my first tutorial on my new laptop. It's not that new, actually. I'm running Windows Vista. Yes, I am aware that it is not the best operating system, and I don't care. Um, also, I apologize for not making any tutorials recently. I've been really, really sick, and I'm still... I'm a little bad. I have kind of a stuffy nose you might be able to tell in the video, but... Yeah, anyways, uh, this tutorial I'm really excited about. I'm going to be teaching you how to create free ringtones for an iPhone. And um, the technique I'm going to be showing you only works for iPhones, but I'm sure that there's another technique out there somewhere that will work for Blackberries or other smartphones. So make sure your iPhone's plugged into your computer, and you're going to you're going to want to open up iTunes and just pick whatever song that you want to make your ringtone out of. You have to have it in your library, and this isn't working for me. There we go. So I guess I should have picked which song I want to create first. I'll take this one. Um, it was a good day by Ice Cube. I already have this as a ringtone, actually. And uh, for copyright purposes, I can't actually play the song in this tutorial, so it doesn't really matter, anyways. Though, so find the song that you want to create as your ringtone. I have it here, and just to make things cleaner, I'm going to search it up so that it appears as the only song. So right there. So this is the only song in this uh, list here. So what you want to do is play the song and find where you want your ringtone to start. So I'm going to mute my computer here because I don't want anyone hearing this. Well, I do, it's a great song, but I can't get, you know, copyright complaints and stuff like that. It's a hassle. So I'm going to play my song, and so let's just say that I wanted my ringtone to start right here at 1 minute and 24 seconds. So I don't know if that's actually the spot where the chorus comes in or whatever. Anyways, you would find the point where you want your ringtone to begin. So here it's 1 minute 24 seconds, and now you're going to find your song it should be the only song on the list you're gonna right click on it and hit get info by the way this procedure is the same on a Mac so hit get info and then go to the options tab and now you're gonna have start time and stop time so what you wanna do is get rid of the stop time your start time should be zero 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 which is good so go to start time and hit one colon twenty four pretty self-explanatory and now most ringtones are 30 seconds long in length. Um, it can be any length you want, but for safety purposes, just to be on the safe side, I would recommend that you don't make your ringtone anything longer than 30 seconds. So if I want to make this a 30 second ringtone, just do some simple math. There we go. It's perfect. So now we have start time and stop time. Make sure both of these boxes are checked and hit OK. Now when you double click on the song and play it, it will only play that 30 second duration. So we have our song now. Let's make sure that we have it selected. And we go to Advanced and hit Create AAC version. It may say something like Create MP3 version or WAV version. By default, it's Create AAC version. You can edit this by going to Edit, Preferences, Import Settings, and you can change it. I just keep it at AAC by default. So you're going to hit Create AAC version, and this should take no time at all. Just give it a few seconds to start up. And it's almost done. It's just converting it from your MP3 version to this new AAC encoder. So we have it done here, and you can see the time is a 30 second track. Now, just to make sure that we don't screw up our original song, just go back to the original song, right click on it, go to Get Info, Options, and we just want to clear both these boxes and have both of these unchecked. This way, when you play it on your iPhone or iPod Touch or whatever, well, obviously it would be an iPhone in this case. This way, if you play it on your iPhone, it's not going to start at that um, that time period. It will always start at the beginning and always end at the end. So here we have our new song. You're going to right-click on it and show in Windows Explorer. And it will, by default, go to the folder in which the original song is located. So right here I have it was a good day m 4 a and that's it. I also have this file here, it was a good day.m4r. This is the ringtone file that we're going to be creating. And then I also have it was a good day.mp3. So I have three versions of the song here. You should only have two. You should have an mp3 version, an AAC version, and an m or actually you shouldn't even have the m4r. So and by the way, m4a is the same as AAC. So what you would do is very simple. You take your m your new m4a file, you right click on it, go to rename and then you just go and change the file extension to m4r. I'm not going to do this because I already have my new ringtone file. But what you would do 
is have your new ringtone file here, it was a good day, .m4r, you would double click on that new file, and it would automatically open in iTunes, and it would start playing. And once it starts playing, you know that you have it on your iTunes now. And then now if you go to under your library, music, go to ringtones, you'll see that it will be in there, um, where was it, right there. And I also have a, a ton of other custom ringtones I already made. And then to sync it, just go to your devices and hit your iPhone, whatever you have it called. And here's my iPhone settings. And I should probably blur out my phone number there. And you go to ringtones at the top. And then sync ringtones, make sure that's checked. And then you can select individual ringtones or just have all ringtones by default. And then you'll see I have 14 ringtones. Then you just hit sync and you're done. And then I can't show this right now because I don't have a video camera. But it's very simple. To set this ringtone on your iPhone, just let me get my phone here. You, you're going to unlock your phone, and once you're on the home screen, you want to go to settings, go to sounds, and then ringtone. It's right there, and then you can pick whatever ringtone you want and adjust the volume if it's on vibrate, etc. Very, very simple to do. I love doing this technique. It's very interesting. There are applications that you can get for your phone that will create ringtones for you, but I've used them before, and I just don't like them that much. I think I have more control over this, but it's up to you. So I hope you found this tutorial useful, and like I said before, this is for iPhone only, but if I ever get a BlackBerry, maybe I'll do one for that or something. Um, I don't think so, though. Anyways, thanks for watching this tutorial, and check out my channel. Thank you very much, and have a good day.